Listen, fellas, I know why you clicked on this video, and I just want to say I'm sorry for clickbaiting all of you, but YouTube is a hard game, and sometimes you gotta bait people in. And I have a very good reason to get all of your attention. By the way, if you want my opinion on Tears of the Kingdom, uh, I haven't played it yet. Uh, I, I, think, I think it looks pretty good, though. Well, anyway, the game I'm gonna be talking about is my personal game of the year already, and I don't think any other game is gonna top it. And that game is Trepang 2 or Trepang Squared, I still don't know how to say the title. A game I played the demo of not too long ago, and holy shit, the full release of this game surpassed my already extremely high expectations set from playing the demo. Here's a brief summary of what I said in my original video. Trepang 2 is a first-person shooter, heavily inspired by the game Fear from 2005. The game's shotgun is still absolutely peak, and you can still pull off incredibly stylish moves utilizing all of the mechanics, such as the bullet time and the cloaking stealth mechanic. Trepang 2 was made with so much passion and care, it was clearly made by people who loved the genre and actually played games within that genre, which is uh, sadly a rare thing nowadays. Not only can you tell that they loved making this game with the shit you can pull off and the missions, but with some of the achievements you can get too. At the end of the first mission, you're met with a bunch of friendlies ready to help you extract in a helicopter. Now if you have gooey gamer monkey brain like me, your first instinct would be to see if you can kill one of these friendlies, and yeah. You can. So I pushed my limits and decided to grab one and throw him into the helicopter blades, which rewarded me with an achievement. Obviously they become hostile because they don't want to be the next one thrown into the chopper blades. And once you murder them all defending yourself, you get another achievement. What can I say? I, l I love being rewarded for being a massive dickhead. <laughs> now, I went into the full release of Trepang 2 expecting the missions to be somewhat samey. I was expecting them to be linear with similar looking levels where you go from room to room just killing enemies. Now, this wouldn't have been an issue because that's basically what Doom 2016 was and I loved that game. But Trepang 2 completely caught me off guard multiple times. For starters, right after the first mission, which is the mission you play in the demo, you end up going to a base which acts as a hub. A hub where you can customize your character, do simulation training missions, where you survive waves of enemies, and it's also where you can select missions, and this is where I learned the game has side missions too. And these can range from, I don't know, surviving in a crashed plane yard, to hacking consoles, to making me absolutely shit myself because I don't even know what's going on but this is terrifying. It's just more reasons and excuses to enjoy the gameplay, and during the incredible gameplay, you have an awesome soundtrack to accompany it. Regarding my expectations relating to the main missions being pretty samey, well, the second main mission proves me completely wrong. It starts just like the first mission, you know, you're going around blasting enemies left and right having a good old time, until you get into the main facility and take a lift down. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, uh... Huh. For such an action-packed game, this section is insanely quiet, and there's a lot of tense downtime. You do encounter an enemy soldier after a bit though, but something huge is lurking around the area, and it takes care of the poor fella after ambushing him. The thing that attacks the guy clearly isn't a human. It's a giant monstrosity, but behind the glass we can't get a good look at it. So we follow the conspicuous blood trails that the monster left, and stumble across this disgusting fella, who is, uh, well, he doesn't look like like he's doing too good. He's not too chuffed to see you and breaks down the glass to get you. This is basically a zombie, and you're caught completely off guard because you have never seen an enemy type like this, and in the next room, you are completely bombarded by them. A brand new enemy type that charges at you rather than holding back shooting you. It makes you play completely different, and if you're anything like me, I did not adapt very well and I ran out of ammo quick, basically turning the game into a survival horror game. After the immense amount of zombies, you explore the facility a bit more, and after trying to breach a door, you get a lovely greeting. This beautiful beast is the Mothman, and he acts like a Resident Evil ass tyrant enemy in this mission, where most of the time you'll be fleeing from the fella, fleeing to your friends waiting on the roof of a helicopter to get you the fuck out of there. Hopefully we don't run into him again. Shit! Boss fights are something I was not expecting at all in this game too. The next mission has you going to Yorkshire to kill a weird cult. 
fucking Yorkshire. Love that representation. Hell yeah. God damn, I, I don't know how this game can get any better. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Do, do I even need to say anything? Just buy this game, like, 